Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Calypso Cigar Review Quickie Podcast. I'm your host, Brandon Luna, and today we'll be reviewing the Artua Fuente King B, which is a Spanish Rosado cigar. A little bit harder to get than some of the other ones, and it's one of those cigars that when it comes out, it goes pretty quickly. It's got that great cedar sleeve on it, and um, the wrapper on this is Ecuadorian Sun Grown Rosado, which is one of the more sought after of the Arturo Fuente wrappers. Binder and filler, obviously Dominican. Size on this is six by 55, runs about eight to nine dollars. Sometimes you can find it cheaper online, it just depends. I have not had one of these, but I've heard a ton about the King Bee, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a cut and a light, and we'll see what we think. Now, since it has that cedar sleeve on it, you could realistically use that as a spill to light the cigar. Mm, cold draw on that. It's really sweet. It's like a molasses kind of sweetness to it. It's nice. So what you do is you light the, you light the cedar sleeve here, okay? Just like that. And then you suck through the sleeve. And it's supposed to give you a perfect light on the cigar. Works like a charm. Oh man, that first draw on that is so sweet, infused with that cedar. I don't know if that's from the spill being on there or if it's from the way I lit it, but man, that is sweet. That is almost like the sweetness you would get off like almost an infused cigar. It's that sweet, like it seems like it's a little false, but damn, that's tasty. And I don't mean that as an insult. Um, I just mean that it's a little sweeter than I expected. Um, it is very sweet, a lot of cedar, not a lot of spice. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to the first third, give you an update after that on the Arturo Fuente King B. All right, so I'm back and I'm at the end of the first third of the Arturo Fuente King B. And it still has a lot of that sweetness that it had at the beginning of the cigar. It's like a maple syrup sweetness um, coupled with like a very woodsy cedar flavor. And some spice has come into play, which is nice. So there's a lot of spice. If you leave that smoke in your mouth, let it kind of swirl around, blow it out your nose and retrohale. It's got a lot of spice to it, which is really nice. Now the draw is a little bit of an issue. I actually had to cut it twice to get the draw to open up and still kind of mm, on the draw. It's not 100% where I think it should be. It is a torpedo, a bellicoso, whatever you want to call it. So that has something to do with it, but it's a little harder than I would like for it to be on this cigar. Overall, though, it's very tasty. It's got a great flavor to it. Um, a little bit different than, like, say, your Hemingway or your other, you know, Arturo Fuentes that are out there. That Spanish risotto makes a difference, and I think you definitely ought to try it out if you haven't. I'm going to get into the second third, and I'll give you guys an update at the end of the second third of the Arturo Fuente King B. Okay, so I'm about to the end of the second third of the Arturo Fuente King B, which has that Spanish risotto wrapper. And it has changed up a little bit on me. That sweetness that was there, that maple syrup sweetness is kind of gone. Now what I'm left with is that spice, which is nice. A little bit of earth, maybe a slight bit of leather. Overall, I'd say it's um, medium in complexity and very medium in flavor. It's not a mild cigar, but it's definitely not on the full-bodied side. I would say it's very medium. Now, on the little trick that I did at the beginning with the uh, cedar wrap, um, I would definitely recommend making sure that the cedar wrap does not have tape on the end. Now with the Fuentes, they have the little cloth band that has the tape on it. So if you take that cloth band off, there's no tape on that cedar at the end. On the other side of the cedar, there is tape. So you're going to want to make sure there's no tape if you're going to attempt that. Slide it off the cigar a little bit so that you've got kind of a tunnel going. You light that end, you suck in, and you light the cigar that way. It is a little dangerous because you're playing with fire, basically. So you want to be careful when you do it. I'd say do it outside like I did. If you do it right, you don't have to light your cigar anymore. If you don't do it quite right, you may have to touch it up a little bit. But it really kind of, I think, imbues the cigar with that cedar flavor like you would with a cedar spill. And it gives you a pretty nice, even light if you do it right. So second third, tasty on this. I'm looking forward to the last third. I'm hoping that the last third gets a little more... Um, strength to it, but we'll see. This is my first time having it, so I'm going to come back and give you an update on the last third of the Arturo Fuente King B. All right, so I'm about at the end of the Arturo Fuente King B Spanish Rosado, and it has definitely gotten bolder, um, definitely more spice on the retrohale, and actually spice just on the regular draw. The draw is still a little tight, but you power through it. It's a good cigar. I would definitely recommend picking one up. It's a good smoke. And, uh, if, you know, if they're kind of rare, pick them up, maybe let them sit. Maybe that'll help. 
I've had these about four months and um, I'm looking forward to the other four that I have. I've got a fiver over on uh, Cigars at Your Price, which is a great site, by the way. Check it out if you haven't been there. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I say definitely check it out. Uh, I know there's also the Queen Bee. I haven't had that one yet. I'm looking forward to trying that as well. So definitely check us out on our full episodes on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Podomatic, Spreaker. Go check us out on Twitter and uh, give us a like on Twitter and follow us there. Give us uh, the comments on YouTube as well. Any comment you leave, um, whether it be on YouTube or on iTunes, we'll give you guys a shout out. It's always appreciated. We'd love to get some reviews on iTunes. The more reviews you get on iTunes, the further up you get up the ladder there. So more people can find you. we got about 10 reviews right now. We'd love to have like 30 or 40. That'd be fantastic. So if you guys can make that happen, we'd really, really appreciate it. We're going to be doing some contests pretty soon too. So look out for that. We'll be doing some contests where you guys can win some cigars. So keep checking us out. As always, it's been great smoking with you. <laughs>